Good evening and welcome to our third session of Survey of the Bible. You remember last week we studied the geographical places of the Old Testament. It was amazing for me to know that the Old Testament only took part in a certain part of the map, of the map we know now. Now, do you guys remember the movements that the nation of Israel made? At first, it started way back with Adam and Eve, with the fall of man. And the fall of man, the spiral down. And then from Ur, where we had Abram following the promise of God, we had the crescent to the land that God showed Abram. And then we had the slide down when Joseph was sold into slavery and he went into Egypt. Then after 400 years, we had Moses with the twister. And the reason for the twister is because the, the nation f walked around and around in the desert because of disobedience. Then finally we had the loop. The loop where Joshua led the people into the promised land. The reason is called the loop because they walked around Jericho a couple of times. Then, unfortunately, the sad part, we had the cycle of judges where the nation rebelled against God and didn't listen to His commandments. Then when the, the nation decided they wanted the king, they unified in the box under a king called Saul. And then after Solomon's son split the kingdom, they called the slash, where the kingdom was split in two. And then, then came the sad part where the nation was led into exile. We call that the boomerang. And then it ended up with the wave. The wave meaning that three times the nation returned to Jerusalem. They turned under Zerubbabel, turned under Ezra, and then under Nehemiah the last time. Now tonight, we are looking at the people of the Old Testament. So enjoy it and stay tuned. Do you have any idea how many different people are named in the Bible? Take a guess. Believe it or not, the Bible names 3,237 different people. And what may be confusing is that only 1,794 of those 3,237 people have a unique name just for them. That means that nearly half the people mentioned in the Bible share the same name with at least one other individual. For, for example, uh, the Bible has five different Johns, <laughs> 13 different Josephs, and get this, 31 Zacharias. That, that, was a, that was a popular name back then. Well, the Old Testament spans over 3,000 years of human history, and the Old Testament has over 2,000 different people. In this session, we've picked out 10 of the most important people in the Old Testament to be able to help you put them in the order in which they lived. And more than that, we've, we've put together a way to teach you in a creative way to memorize two important facts about each one of them. You'll know the person, when they lived, and something about them. Well, when we're finished, you're going to have another key to understanding the Bible. So you can think, just, just realize this, so you can think from one end of the Bible to the other end, this time in these sessions, person to person to person. We're going to, ha we're going to have some <laughs> remarkable fun in this session. We've taken a risk and we've invited 10 fifth to seventh graders that are going to join us on the set here. I told them maybe that some of them will become a movie star. Who are going to help us learn the people of the Old Testament? Oh, here I hear them coming now. I'm Dr. Bruce, nice to meet you. And who is this? Whoa! He could be in the Indian jungle. <laughs> Where do you think the Bible takes place in this map? This next part is like here is the book of Numbers in the Bible. Turn to the person next to you and say, You're going to be a movie star. You're going to be a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it for
for a minute. It's time for a people pop quiz. Answer the question, who came first? Number one, Adam and Eve or Abraham? The answer is Adam and Eve. Number two, who came first, Moses or Joseph? The answer is Joseph. Number three, who came first, Joshua or Samson? Joshua is the answer. Number four, David or Rehoboam? Who is Rehoboam? The answer is David. Number five, Nehemiah or Daniel? The answer is Daniel. How'd you do? Now let's join the kids. Well, there's a very famous television show, Are You Smart as a Fifth, fifth, fifth grader. grader? And I'm gonna challenge the audience that are gonna watch this around the world to see if they're as smart as you are. And behind you are pictures of some of the people in the Old Testament, and some of them you may know about, and some of them may be too hard. But by the time this session's over, you're gonna know them just like this. So I want you to look at the different people and see if you can figure out maybe one of them. And as soon as you know who it is, raise your hand. Okay. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. What made you think this was Adam and Eve? Because they ate the apple and God told them not to eat the apple from the certain tree. From the certain tree. This tree right here, maybe? Yes. And who's this one over here? Oh, he's old. He's real old. What's his name? What's his name? And he had two very famous kids. And he's called the father of Israel. I've seen him in the Bible somewhere. <laughs> oh, my God. I know me. This is so stressful. OK, Ivan. Abraham. Abraham. Oh. oh. All right, who else knows somebody? That's Joseph. He has the grain in his hand, and I remember he had a dream where he was this, I guess, hay bale in the middle, and all these other ones were bowing down to him. Mm-hmm, that's right. And when he lived in what country? Um, Egypt. Oh, who said that? Very good, Manisha. Who do you pick out? Um, I pick out that one right there. Who do you think this is? Moses. Moses. How did you know it was Moses? Because he had the stones with the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. And what is this right here called that he's a holding? A staff. A staff? And what did he do with that staff? Do you remember? He held it over. He, what? He parted the, the sea. He parted what color sea? The Red Sea. The Red Sea. Oh, right. Who hasn't answered one yet? Who wants to go on this one? I'll give you a hint. This is kind of a general going to fight in a place where there were grapes that were really big. And what color is this? Red. 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 Does anybody know the story about this red cloth that was out of a city from a lady? And then uh, when the walls came tumbling down? Oh, that's right. I can't remember. Do you remember who this is? General? Um. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho. Jericho. This is Joshua. Oh. oh. <laughs> I thought you would have got this one. Okay, which one do you think? Samson. What made you think this was Samson? He has long hair that makes him strong. It's long hair that makes him strong. Does he look strong to you? Yes. 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 Would you just come here for a minute, Bethany, and have a little fun with you for a minute? Would you stand right here, and would you show me a Samson pose? Come on. Give her a hand. <laughs> All right, Bethany, now this is a tough one. What is this? Do you know? The jawbone of a donkey. It's a jawbone of a donkey. And what did he do with it? Battled like a thousand something. He, how many? One thousand. One thousand of what people? The f, f, f. Oh, who said that? The Philistines. Who else knows somebody? Okay, Jamie, you're up. King David. King David. Now, how did you know that this was King David? Because he had a crown on his head, and also he had the stone in the slingshot. He had a crown on his head, and he had a stone. What is this called? A slingshot. A slingshot? A, sl a slingshot is one of these. W what is this called? Just take off the shot. It's a sling. So who is this? King David. King David, man, alive. You guys are doing terrific. Who wants to hold this hat for me for a minute? No kidding, Ivan? All right, man. <laughs> Put it on your head. It's a little big. 
<laughs> this one that's coming is by far the hardest. You remember there was mm. King David, and then after King David came Solomon, the smartest man that ever lived. Oh, yeah. And then the next man was Solomon's son, and his name was Rehoboam. A crazy name, Rehoboam. Rehoboam. And he got so angry, um, he said, you think my father taxed you a lot? I'm going to tax you a lot more. My father had a whip, but my whip will have scorpions on the end. Whoa, really harsh. And because of this, the nation split in half. And ten of the, of the tribes of Israel, you'll learn about later, moved north. That was known as Israel. And then the, the other two were in the south called Judah. This is Rehoboam. Rehoboam. Who else knows? You know another one? I think that's Daniel. All right. Daniel. We're getting to the harder ones now. What made you think that was Daniel? Well, there's a big lion right there, and he was thrown in the lion's den. He was thrown in the lion's den? What is this? Do you, do you know what this is? A statue. A statue made of this, 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 and this. Do you remember the story? <sighs> sort of. Sort of. This was a, um, a dream that the king had that he interpreted that talked about the king that he was ruling with is the head man for all the world. So this one's pretty tough. Yes, sir. Mm. What is this? A, a, cup of a cup of wine. A cup of wine. <laughs> you know who it is? Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Very Nehemiah. good. So, what did Nehemiah do? He, he, um, he gave it to the king. He tried to make sure nobody was poisoning the king. Oh. So he, can you imagine a job like this, uh -huh. where you had to taste everything before it went to the king in case somebody poisoned it? You would die first, and the king would live. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Nehemiah. <laughs> How can you learn, not just a person's name and not just in order, but something about them? So when you think of them, you can remember at least two big ideas about them. So what our final challenge is to try and learn the person's name and two memory pegs in order. And every time we do a memory peg, it's first on the left side and then on the right side. So let's go over here to Adam and Eve. When we think of Adam and Eve, I, you remember two things. What did the snake or Satan try to do to Adam and Eve? He tried to tempt them into eating the apple. That's right. That's called the temptation. So Adam and Eve, temptation. First tier, temptation. Say again, Adam and Eve, Adam Eve temptation. temptation. And then when they ate the apple, what's that called? Sin. Sin. And do you know what that's called when you get a little bit older in uh, church? It's called the fall of man. So this is Adam and Eve, temptation, and this represents the fall, the fall of man into sin. Ready? Here we go. Adam, Adam and Eve, temptation, fall. Now, after Adam and Eve, they had Cain and Abel, and there was a bunch of other children. And God eventually called a certain man named Abraham and said, I want to bless you, and through you, your family line, I want to bless the whole world. And he eventually had two children. The first boy was called Ishmael, and he was the father of the Arabs. And the second boy was called Isaac, and he was the father of the Jews. And out of Abraham and Isaac, Jesus came through, and that was his forefathers. That's how God blessed the whole world. So we say, Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac. Here we go. Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac. So Abraham had a bunch of children, then they had children, and they had children, until Jacob comes along, and Jacob had 12 important sons. And Jacob had a favorite son named Joseph. Joseph. And his older brothers got upset at him, remember, and sold him as a slave down into Egypt. And eventually, Pharaoh has this dream about this famine that's coming and nobody in the world can uh, translate the dream and tell him what the dream meant until Joseph does and when he comes out and he tells him about the seven years that are going to follow when there'd be a great deal of food and then seven years would be a terrible famine and said to Pharaoh I think we should save extra food in those great seven years so we won't die with the famine 
And so Joseph becomes a ruler of what country? Egypt. So it's ruler, Joseph, ruler of Egypt. And this represents the famine that's going to take place. They collected the good grain, and then the famine comes. And so Joseph, ruler of Egypt, famine. Now, they're in Egypt for 400 years what? because the famine got so bad that the people that were the Jews living back in Israel, they had no more food, so they all come down into Egypt. And they're there for 400 years. They're slaves, and they cry out to God, please save us. And God raises up a mighty deliverer whose name was? Moses. And Moses leads them out of Egypt, out of? Out of Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. And they went in the wilderness, and eventually he holds up his rod over what? water. The Red, Red, the Red sea. sea. And what happened? It, it pardons. It pardons. And they go through the Red Sea and then they go down south into this desert area and they come to Mount Everest. <laughs> Mount Sinai. You ever heard of that? Oh. Yes. Mount Sinai. Where he gets the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. So it's Moses, Moses Exodus. Exodus. Try it again. Moses, Moses Exodus, Exodus, Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. Moses sends out the spies into the promised land from Mount Sinai where they traveled up north to Kadesh Barnea, sent out these spies, and there were 10 spies who said, we can't do it, and there were two good spies. This was one of the good two spies. What was his name? Joshua. And they brought back some um, magnificent grapes. grapes that were so large it took two men to carry one cluster. And he was one of the 12 spies that spied out the land. So it's Joshua. 12 spies. There were so many giants in the land of Canaan where they were going to go and defeat that they felt like they were grasshoppers in their sight. So they, everybody was afraid. And they listened to the 10 spies who said, we can't do it, instead of the two spies who said, yeah, but God can. And they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. And, and at the end, they come and they go across the Jordan River and they conquer what big city? Where the walls came? Jericho. Jericho. And when they spied out the land, they stayed in a lady's house named Rahab in Jericho. And the lady saved their lives, the spies from Israel. And the spies from Israel said, listen, we're going to come and conquer your, your city and we'll save your life if you hang out a red cloth out of your window and that part of the wall won't fall down and will save your life. So when you think of Joshua, you think of the 12, 12 spies. spies and Jericho. 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 What was the name of the, of the city that they defeated? Jericho. Not again. Jericho. Joshua, 12, 12 spies, Jericho. Moses, Exodus, Ten Commandments. Joseph, ruler of Egypt, famine. Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac. Adam and Eve, temptation, fall. Who's this? Samson. And you told us what happened with this jawbone of a donkey. He conquered? A thousand. Philistines. The Philistines were Israel's enemies. And he fought by himself just like a superhero today. <laughs> he had this as his weapon. He didn't have a sword. And he fought 1,000 men and won over all of them. Before there were kings in Israel, there were people that God called to be judges who kind of were like little kings to help Israel. Samson, 1,000 Philistines, judge. 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 Here we go. Samson, 1,000 Philistines, judge. So this is what person? David. David. And who did he kill with a uh, rock and a sling? Goliath. Goliath. How tall was he? Nine, Nine feet. feet. Nine feet. So he would have looked up like this. And who did he trust in? God. That's right, because God made that stone kill his enemy. Now this part I need you to understand a little bit. Here's the nation of Israel. And under Joshua, they came in and they conquered it, right? After they conquered it, there was a period of 400 years where there were judges. Different people like Deborah and Samson and Samuel were these judges, just like this. But then the people said, I, we want to have a king like everybody else. And so they crowned the first king, whose name was Saul. Remember his name? Yeah. Saul? The second king was? David. And the third king was the smartest king that ever lived, named? 
Solomon. 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 You don't have to know that. But those three kings ruled the entire country, all 12 tribes. That's called something very important that you need to know. He's the king of the United Kingdom. That is, one king ruled all 12 tribes. So it is. David, Goliath, king of the United Kingdom. Okay, this one right here, who is he? Ram. Okay, so I want you to think about something. The first king was Saul, then was David, then Solomon was right here, and then Solomon had a, a, a child. And all 12 tribes came to him and said, listen, would you not be so hard on us? So he went and talked to the elders of the land who said, you know, if you're kind to them, the people will follow you. And then he said, thank you. And then he went to his own, his kids, his own age and said, listen, don't let them get away with this. And he comes back and he says, listen, if, if you think um, my father was bad and he whipped you, my whips will have scorpions on the edge. And this is what happened. The 12 tribes, the top part, the 10 tribes in the north said, if that's the kind of king you're going to be, we're leaving. And the nation split, just like his crown. And so what is, it used to be called as Israel, then it split, and the top part became known as Israel, and the southern part became known as Judah. And he then became the king of? Judah. So divided kingdom, king of Judah. Ready? Ray 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 divided, divided kingdom, kingdom king, king of Judah. Judah. All right, here we go. The next one, who's this? Daniel. And, um... Lion's Den. Lion's Den. Mm hmm Now, the other part of this is the king, because he served under the kings of Babylonia and Persia. And one of the kings had this dream about this great big image. And it had gold and silver and bronze and silver thing. And he couldn't understand what it meant. And Daniel came in and explained it. And these are the four nations that took over the world and ran the world, and he was seeing the future before it actually happened. So this is called the image of the four kingdoms. Say it for me. The, the image, image of the four kingdoms. So let's try Daniel. Daniel, lines and image of the four kingdoms. Okay, who's this? Nehemiah. And he was a cup bearer. Cup bearer. So he, he tasted all the food before the king ate it to make sure that nobody was trying to poison him. And then um, he began to find out about all the destruction that was in Jerusalem because it had been destroyed. And God sent him around to rebuild what? The wall, the wall of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. That should have taken like three years. Instead of taking three years, how many days did it take? 52. 52. So we say his name is? Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Cup bear, wall in 52 days. Wall in 52 days. Here we go. Jeremiah, cup bear, wall in 52 days. We're going to have a race between team one and team two to see what team can go from the beginning, the people's names and the two memory pegs all the way to the end. Is the clock ready? One, two, three, go. Adam and Eve, temptation, fall. Stop. 42 seconds. Let's give them a hand. Whoa. All right, here we go. On the count of one, two, three, watch the hat. One, two, three, go. Adam and Eve, temptation and fall. Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Joseph, Edward, Egypt, Ammon, Ammon, Moses, and Exodus, Ten Commandments, Joshua, 12 spies, Jericho. Samson, 1,000 Philistines judged. David, Goliath, king of the United Kingdom. Rehoboam, divided kingdom, king of Judah. Daniel, Lion, image of the four kingdoms. Nehemiah, cut bearer, wall of 52 days. Stop. 
34 seconds. Let's give them a hand. Well, now we come to one of my favorite parts of this session, when you learn the people of the Old Testament in order. So you can think forwards or backwards through the Old Testament person by person. Well, to lock the people into your memory, we're going to use directly from the 10 Creative Labs something nobody's ever seen before. It's just really amazing. It's called the Mind Easy Modulator 9000. And it's going to bring things into your memory that you'll never be able to forget. So let's see if we can't get going here. We're going to go through all 10 of them with the memory pegs. Let's, um, let's start with Adam and Eve. Oh, there they are, the temptation with the fall of man. And then who's next? Yeah, Abraham with Ishmael and Isaac. And then Joseph with the ruler of Egypt and the famine. And then let's talk about uh, Moses with the Exodus and the Ten Commandments. And um, Joshua with the 12 spies and Jericho. And Samson. Oh, man, who killed 1,000 Philistines and was the judge. Let's talk about David with Goliath and the king of the United Kingdom. Then we have Rehoboam with the divided kingdom. Remember that? And he is the king of Judah. Then we have Daniel. You remember him with the lion's den and the image of the four kingdoms? And finally, we have Nehemiah, the cupbearer and the wall builder in 52 days. Well, do you have it? Well, to lock the people further into your memory, we're going to use the geographical movements of the Old Testament as the powerful memory tool. So let's go. What happens first is our spiral. Okay, be thinking, who's the person connected to that? Then we have our crescent. Who's the person? Then we have our slide. Then we have our twister. So be thinking, because this is going to teach you to remember the people in order. Well, obviously, the beginning is Adam and Eve, and God calls Abraham down to Canaan, as you've learned in the past. Then Joseph is sold down there. Then we have the twister where Moses, Adam and Eve, Abraham, Joseph, Moses. This is simple. Who's that? Adam and Eve? Abraham? You got it? Adam and Eve, Abraham, Joseph, and Moses. This is getting easy, isn't it? I mean, after we keep using Mind Easy for you and helping you memorize it till you master it, we're bringing these two things together for you the geographical movements and the people. Take a look at this second section. Who is that? Who does that? Who conquers? Then the cycles that go around. Then the next period called the United Kingdom. And then the slash with the divided kingdom. You got it? Well, let's put the people with these. That's Joshua. Then you remember the cycles with the judges is Samson. Then the United Kingdom with King David and the divided kingdom with Rehoboam. Just four names. Put them in order. Joshua, Samson, David, and Rehoboam. So who's that? Who's this? Who's the king? Who divides the nation? You got it? That's Joshua. Then Samson with the cycles, the United Kingdom with David, and the divided kingdom with Rehoboam. This is getting pretty simple, isn't it? Okay, get ready for the last two. We're almost done. Here comes our first one. You remember the boomerang? And what was the person related to that? And then the waves as they came back from Babylon across. Let's see if we can't put that together. Daniel, obviously, is over there in Babylon in the exile. And Nehemiah is the cupbearer after Persia conquers Babylonia. So who's our boomerang person? It's Daniel. And who is our wave person? It is Nehemiah. Let's see if we got it. Daniel, Nehemiah, and that's it. In a minute, we're going to conclude and give you a last review. We want to cement the names in order so deep that if somebody walks up and says, have you heard of Abraham? You'll say, oh, yeah, Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, and just go right through the people. It's, it's all there. We've been speed teaching, and my goodness, you've been doing a great job in speed learning. Well, if we've done our job and caused you to learn, then the Old Testament people are forever on your mind. Let's review them one more time. 
with our Mind Easy Modulator 9000. Let's get them going. Remember Adam and Eve? Abraham. Joseph. Moses. Think with me. Who's after Moses? Joshua. Samson. David. Rehoboam. Daniel and Nehemiah. You got it. Just remember all those lines and put the people there. You'll never be able to forget them. But you know, the story of how God is working through people like you and me, you know, it's still going on right now, sometimes in surprising ways. Well, now it's your turn. What is your part of God's continuing story?